Activision Blizzard Esports CEO says they're exploring ways to offer in-game rewards to fans who watch Call of Duty League broadcasts on YouTube, also possible expansions to Overwatch League. Oh my gosh, I should not be the only one trying to push this. What's up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Esports Talk. My name is Jake, breaking down the latest in Call of Duty slash also Overwatch news. For all of you Call of Duty fans out there, we saw launch weekend was an amazing success, at least in my own personal opinion. Now, of course, alongside that, Overwatch League starting up here pretty soon as well and it could be a gigantic deal that YouTube did secure the exclusive broadcast rights to both those leagues and I think when this has now been officially stated yes by brought to us by Pete Blastelica he says they are exploring ways to actually offer in-game rewards by watching the YouTube streams this is utter genius, but not even genius. It's been around for quite some time with Twitch loot. I mean, they have an entire website dedicated to Twitch Prime loot guys offering in-game rewards for countless games out there. This just makes sense, and it and it needs to happen. Is anyone out there going to say no? I mean, we have Fwiz, who reported on these numbers, by the way. Also, uh, he has, actually talks about day one. If you guys did see, the peak viewership was actually around 105,000 or so uh, during those last closing matches of Call of Duty League weekend. And yes, that was the highest viewer count we did receive on a brand new platform for the game, which I'm not going to argue with. That viewership as compared to CWL last year, that's a great improvement. And can you imagine offering any in-game rewards? You and I know all alike that any gamer out there, especially when we look at the likes of CSGO, they do this for their majors, they offer in-game the potential to actually get drops in-game for every single major, increases viewership like crazy. Now imagine that doing it, you know, maybe not every single week, but at least for some Call of Duty events out there, which by the way, the game of Call of Duty has so much more to offer in terms of in-game rewards than a game like CSGO might. Overwatch, I would say similar as well. Can you imagine what viewership could do for CDL? if this is actually implemented sometime soon, it needs to happen. Now, a little quick side note for all of you guys who do not know Pete Vlastelica, the last time I talked about him was about Overwatch League and he's been caught possibly fibbing before. Let me just throw that out there. It was actually um, our boy Monte Cristo who called him out for this. During the whole Overwatch debacle of talent leaving, you know, Pete Vaselica came out and said, no, the talent aren't leaving. Uh, we actually chose to get rid of them, although we found out, you know, according to all the talent who left, that's just not true. So take his word for it or don't take his word for it. This simply, it just needs to happen. On top of that, we look one more time, guys, at a different person. That's going to be former H2K founder known as Rich. He is never a positive figure. And I, I say that in actually uh, not a bad way. I mean that he always takes, I would say, the negative take of a lot of things out there. His blunt honesty, though, should be looked upon, you know, in terms of the viewership that Call of Duty did bring in. Now, he did actually use the very, very low end of the numbers, albeit we don't know the average concurrent viewership across the entire weekend. He says 40K. It's probably closer to 60K if you look at the entire weekend concurrently. You got to keep in mind, guys, during that downtime, it did drop to 40K. It often was not above 80K. So, meet me in the middle somewhere around 60 and then he does break down the numbers of what Overwatch League has pulled in the past and we've seen the struggles they are having and then compared to LCS and LEC and the massive viewership they get he does bring to light some pretty decent points albeit super negative guy but with all that being said there is not a single person out there who does not want this to happen right there's not a single person going I don't want free rewards for watching Call yes and especially when you think about when it comes time for a general player base not competitive, not a pro watching player base, a general game player base. Call of Duty is one of the biggest in the entire world. They can even try and appreciate maybe just a tiny percentage of those casual players who don't watch the eSport over the stream just to earn in-game rewards and then they stick around. Guys, this could be gigantic for Call of Duty and in my personal opinion, if we want this league to last, if they can get a system like this going, I love this all the more. Now we slowly approach week two. It will be in London for a homestand for Call of Duty and Overwatch League despite all of their delays so far for all their Chinese matches um, up, up and coming. They still have their season underway sometime soon as well. This could be huge. I don't think it's going to be happening probably within the next few weeks, but if it can happen anytime during the season and we see a gigantic, gigantic growth in viewership, I am all the more excited about the future of Call of Duty League and OWL on top of that. YouTube incentives are on the way for both of these games. What do you guys think about it? I think it's needed and it should be a great, great thing if it happens.
Until next time, I'll be breaking down YouTube, other news coming sometime soon for all of you, okay? For all of you guys who have been watching LEC, LCS, CDL, you might have noticed some, some things in the chat that shouldn't be there. We'll be talking about that sometime soon. Until next time, though, take care of yourselves. I'll be back here sometime soon. Bye.